Dude, it's like 11 p.m. Who comes to the cafe at this time? Sorry, we're clo- Oh, it's you! Oh my goodness, come in, come in. Gosh, you're totally soaked. Oh, here, sit down on one of the tables and I'll grab you a towel. Here, I also brought some green tea with your shortcakes. Hopefully that'll warm you up a bit. The last thing I want is for you to get a cold. Actually, here, take my sweatshirt. No, no, I insist. You can't just stay here in soaking wet clothes. There's no windows in the kitchen, so you can just change in there. I'll stay out here and wait for you. Oh, you're back? Yeah, I was just setting the... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's just... That sweatshirt is so not your size. I knew it was going to be bigger, but I didn't think it would be that big. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You look cute, though. Hmm? Uh, nothing. I, d I didn't say anything. Why don't you take a seat? I I'll join you when I finish setting up the table. I'm surprised you showed up. I was waiting for you to send me a text saying that you were going to have to cancel or something. It's raining like crazy out there. I mean, I couldn't even blame you. Of course, the class decided that today was the day that they had to burst. Because screw us in our plans, right? You were really looking forward to seeing me? <laughs> you, you, uh, really have a way with words, huh? We don't need to talk about how I'm probably getting a bit red again. Here, why don't I pour you a cup of tea? Yeah, honestly, I don't even know why I trust this weather guy anymore. Like, I know it's not his fault, since he's just reading off the screen, but... It's really annoying when this is the fifth time he's gotten the forecast wrong. How he still has a job is beyond me. Oh, you, you noticed. <laughs> yeah, I uh, did a little something extra to our shortcakes. I found some cake pans at my dorm, and one of them was in the shape of a crescent moon. I immediately thought of you, and uh, n not that I think about you all the time or anything. Well, I do, but not, not in the weird way where I'm awake at night thinking about you or anything. I was just really excited about seeing you again, and, well... Uh, anyway, I just thought it would be cute if I tried to spice up my baking. And here's the result. Yeah, there are even little star-shaped sprinkles. My manager knows how much I love space, so she got some for the cafe so we can spruce things up if needed. I, uh, I hope you like them. Of course, I'm taking a bite too. You didn't think I'd miss the chance to eat my own baking. Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I'm a pretty good baker. Damn, I knew I did a good job making these. Glad to see you like them too. Maybe I can convince my manager to have some type of space event so I can serve these mood cakes. Hmm? Speaking of the moon... Oh, right! I did promise you some more moon facts, didn't I? You know, you really don't have to force yourself to listen to me ramble. Moon facts and snacks sound like a great time to you? <laughs> you really are a strange one, aren't you? Whoa! Stop! You can't just say that it's because you like hearing my voice. That's embarrassing. Ah, 
God, you really like seeing me flustered, don't you? Anyway, I should keep my promise. What was I going to talk about again? Oh, right. Formation theories. Okay. So, like I mentioned last time, there are three different theories as to how our friend the moon got here. You have fission theory, also known as the Great Impact Theory. This one is the one that's pretty much accepted by everyone. It's said that a Mars-sized object, a planet named Theia, crashed into what was going to become Earth, and that debris ended up getting caught in its orbit. That debris is what ended up becoming the moon. Then... You have the capture theory, which, to be honest, sounds like such a cop-out. It sounds like some scientist at NASA just wanted its day to be over, so we turned this in. It states that the moon was just walking around space and just got caught in Earth's gravity. Like, yeah, it is plausible, but it just sounds too... easy? I don't know. You get what I mean, though, right? When I say it sounds a little too simple. Exactly. Like, oh yeah, it just happened to be there. <laughs> you know, it would be hilarious if that was actually the way the moon was formed, and here we are just talking shit about the guy who made this theory. Anyway, enough being mean to this poor dude. So, the final theory is called the co-formation theory. Honestly, this is one of the theories that isn't too far-fetched. It's said that both the Earth and Moon formed in the same nebula, and because of the gravity, gases, debris, and all that nebulous stuff, they ended up drawing themselves to each other. Great Impact Theory is the one that is widely accepted since it's the theory with the most evidence behind it. The Apollo missions always bring back moon rocks, and their makeup matches the makeup of the rocks here on Earth. Isn't that so cool? The other two still do have some ground to stand on, though. So I guess in a sense, we'll never know for 100% certain. <laughs> yeah, the moon really is a beautiful mystery. There are a bunch more theories on how it formed, but those ones are the top three. Which one do you think is the right one? Yes, I can see that. Regardless of how much I was smack-talking about the second theory, they all do have some validity to them. Oh, it looks like you're done with the cake and tea. Here, just put it on the tray and I can clean this up. Yeah, I just finished cleaning up the cafe when you came knocking. Oh, don't worry. I had some help. A few of my co-workers said they'd stay behind for a little bit longer and help me clean up since I told them about you. Hmm? Well, I did mention you to them a little. I don't talk about you a lot, though. I just wanted to let them know. I mean, they work here, too, and they should know what's going on after hours and stuff. Ah, uh, stop calling me that. This isn't cute. You really enjoy bullying me, huh? See, you're saying you don't, but that smirk on your face tells a whole different story. You're lucky I like you. Hey, the rain is letting up. It's getting late. I don't want to keep you with me for too long. I'm sure you want to go home by now. Don't worry about my sweatshirt. It's not a big deal. Just give it back whenever you have time. Sure, I'll walk you to the door. Hey, so... Oh no, it's it's fine. You can go first. You got me a present? As a thank you for the invitation, I don't really know if I can say that I deserve it, considering that we just spent time here at the cafe. Well, I'm glad you still had fun.
What's this? <gasps> you got tickets to the planetarium? Yeah, I've been wanting to go for the longest time. They have a new exhibit that has the largest telescope in the entire city. You... you want me to go with you? Oh. Oh, it's friends, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, a date? You're asking me out on a date? Are you sure about this? What? No, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, I... Uh, um... God, this is so embarrassing to say. I think I like you too. So yeah, I'd like this to be a date. If that's cool with you. Really? I I don't know why I'm saying really when this whole thing was your idea, but I am... I... <laughs> I'm really excited. Yeah, I'll meet you at the entrance doors. See you. They just kiss me. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, I'm so glad you picked up. I've got something amazing to tell you. Remember how I was talking about that person I bumped into at the forest preserve? Well, I got myself a date. <laughs>